This month will experience a lunar eclipse in Pisces during the full moon on September 17th, followed a few days later on the 22nd by the autumnal or fall equinox. This September full moon is also known as the harvest moon. This name is given to the full moon that occurs closest to the fall equinox. This partial lunar eclipse will occur on September 17th and 18th, 2024, when the moon is in the constellation Pisces. The eclipse will take place on the Pisces Virgo nodal axis. A lunar eclipse is when the sun is opposite the moon so that the earth is between them. Lunar eclipses can have many spiritual meanings, including a time for reflection, rejuvenation, and understanding. Eclipses can also reveal secrets and illuminate areas that need work. A lunar eclipse is also a full moon. The moon in Pisces has great sensitivity and perceptiveness. If you engage in creative or spiritual activities, the moon in Pisces will aid your intuition and creativity. With the full moon also being a lunar eclipse, the energy should be more intense than usual. The full moon in Pisces is also an opposition with the sun in Virgo. Virgo energy brings a detail-oriented, practical and analytical approach to life. In this case, the intuitive spiritual moon opposing the detailed practical sun. This Virgo Pisces axis deals with balancing matter and spirit. Uranus positively aspecting the full moon creates a transit of unexpected but positive change. It may bring stimulating personal encounters or exciting events. You may feel more open to change and may actively seek it out. This is an excellent time to try something new in your domestic routine or personal life. Changes can occur quickly, but you'll be able to methodically handle it. A stronger than normal intuition can guide you in making quick decisions. Follow your instincts and make the most of any opportunities that come your way. You might receive flashes of insight to solve lingering problems in an instant. With Uranus and its psychic energy forming a positive aspect with this moon, this chart is well suited for spiritual experiences. The transit of Uranus sextile Neptune brings a spiritual and idealistic perspective. You may become interested in mystical subjects and study the metaphysical or occult. Your new understanding can benefit loved ones and motivate you to improve social issues. Your goals and ideals may transform as your consciousness evolves. Uranus is known for psychic abilities, while Neptune enhances the mystical. The last Uranus-Neptune sextiles occurred between 1965 and 1969, so it has been quite a while since this pattern has occurred. While this Uranus-Neptune sextile is not exact, the planets are within orb and will be aligning for a series of five exact sextiles between August 28, 2025 and June 6, 2027. Uranus sextile Neptune transit represents spiritual awakening. As this transit approaches, you may begin to seek answers to philosophical questions that traditional religion or even science cannot explain. You may become more concerned about the future and humanity in general. In particular, you may wish to understand better how you are connected to others at the mass conscious level. It is common during this transit to become involved in a cult metaphysical, environmental, or humanitarian groups. With Pluto forming a sextile with Neptune, you may become drawn towards exploring spirituality, metaphysics, the otherworldly, or your own creative and artistic process. During this transit, you may become less driven by materialistic concerns and trying to conform with the societal definitions of success. You will feel more interested in penetrating into deeper understandings of questions regarding spiritual dimensions of the material world. 
The Uranus trine Pluto transit brings evolutionary change. At a personal level, it may provide the freedom for self discovery. This is an excellent time to quit bad habits and address outdated or prejudiced beliefs. On a broader level, you may become an agent of change in your family, career, or community. During this transit, an enhanced intuition and the ability to sense the collective consciousness means you can have a positive influence on a larger number of people. This set of positive aspects between Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto form a powerful metaphysical pattern, one which will be repeated again while these three outermost planets are in close aspect to each other. This is also an excellent time to join groups or learn more about spirituality, the occult, or politics. You may also want to actively promote constructive change in the things you feel strongly about. The transit of the moon conjunct Neptune in Pisces increases your emotional sensitivity, but can also bring a depth of emotions that may feel overwhelming. Pisces, a water sign, is all about emotions, and this sign is one of the most psychic in the zodiac. You may be much more in tune with others and even pick up their thoughts and feelings. Your dreams and visions may be more vivid during this transit. The Mercury in Virgo, Saturn in Pisces opposition may bring challenges with communications, especially in dealing with authority figures, boundaries, or structures. You may feel frustrated at not being able to communicate effectively what you want to say, like no one is listening. Don't let these feelings give way to negative thoughts. Mercury moves quickly, so this transit should pass. The lunar nodes are in the cardinal signs of Aries and Libra, while the north node is in Aries and the south node is in the opposite sign of Libra. This axis asks you to balance your personal needs with those of a partner. With a north node in Aries, you're being pulled to focus on your personal needs at this time. However, Mars in Cancer, the sign of home and family, is squaring your nodes, which may raise issues for you and cause tension in your domestic life, requiring you to care for or defend family members. The fall or autumnal equinox occurs when the sun enters the sign of Libra. This signals the season of fall for the northern hemisphere. Equinox means equal night, so the length of day and night is exactly the same. It is a time for balance. It's an interesting coincidence that the fall equinox is in the sign of Libra, which also stands for balance. The equinox sun is favorably trine the moon in Gemini. This transit is in the mental air signs, which love ideas, communications, and social interaction. You'll be able to indulge your curiosity, intellect, and the ability to express yourself during this very brief transit. With Venus in Libra, you're dealing with emotions and close relationships. With Pluto, you're dealing with issues of control, especially in the Earth sign of Capricorn. With these two planets squaring each other, your personal relationships may face issues involving jealousy, guilt trips, or possessiveness. These negative behaviors may likely center around feelings of insecurity. Venus is a fast-moving planet, so these feelings will be short-lived. Since Venus is the ruler of Libra, it is strong in this sign, so draw on these strong emotions to support the relationship. The equinox sun in Libra trying Pluto in Capricorn transit may bring intense and profound experiences. You may gain greater insights and a better understanding of topics you are studying at this time perhaps even tackling ones that have been seemed too difficult previously. It's a good time to make positive transformations in your life, including clearing out the unwanted clutter. You'll have a greater ability to influence the events happening around you. 
This transit should be good for resolving problems at home or work. This is a good transit for making favorable impressions at work also. I have always loved yods. They're usually complex to interpret and have a mystical feel about them. Perhaps it is because the yod is also called the finger of God. Furthermore, the yod is said to represent a time of crisis or destiny. The yod consists of two planets in a 60 degree sextile with one another, and a third planet, the apex planet, that is in conjunct or 150 degrees from the other two. Neptune is in the water sign of Pisces. Neptune rules Pisces and is strong in this placement. As the ruler of Pisces, Neptune represents a deep connection to spirituality, imagination, and mysticism. It enhances intuition, empathy, and compassion. However, it can also lead to escapism and confusion. Uranus in the earth sign of Taurus brings a unique combination of rebelliousness and stability to your life. This placement of Uranus challenges traditional values, disrupts established norms, and pushes for revolutionary changes in the material world. However, the energies of Taurus encourage a slow methodical change. And the resolution to the challenge between the two planets in sextile is the apex planet, Venus in Libra. Venus rules the air sign of Libra and looks to balance the extremes between the spirituality of Neptune in Pisces and the material changes that Uranus in Taurus brings. Venus in Libra looks to find a diplomatic and fair-minded approach to the different perspectives of the two planets. In summary, this month will experience a lunar eclipse in Pisces during the full moon on September 17th followed a few days later on the 22nd by the autumnal or fall equinox. This September full moon is also known as the harvest moon. The moon in Pisces has great sensitivity and perceptiveness. If you engage in creative or spiritual activities, the moon in Pisces will aid your intuition and creativity. With the full moon also being a lunar eclipse, the energy should be more intense than usual. The full moon in Pisces is also in opposition with the sun in Virgo. Virgo energy brings a detail-oriented, practical, and analytical approach to life. In this case, the intuitive spiritual moon opposing the detailed practical sun. This Virgo-Pisces axis deals with balancing matter and spirit. Uranus, positively aspecting the full moon, creates a transit of unexpected but positive change. This is an excellent time to try something new in your domestic routine or personal life. With Uranus and its psychic energy forming a positive aspect with this full moon, this chart is well suited for spiritual experiences. The transit of the moon conjunct Neptune in Pisces increases your emotional sensitivity but can bring a depth of emotions that may feel overwhelming. Your visions and dreams may be more vivid during this transit. The aspect pattern involving Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto is highly focused on metaphysical development. Uranus is known for psychic abilities. Neptune enhances the mystical, and Pluto involves mass consciousness. The Mercury in Virgo, Saturn in Pisces opposition, may bring challenges with communications. You may feel that no one is listening. Don't let these feelings give way to negative thoughts. The fall or autumnal equinox occurs when the sun enters the sign of Libra. It is a time for balance. It's an interesting coincidence that the fall equinox is in the sign of Libra, which also stands for balance. The equinox sun is favorably trying the moon in Gemini you'll be able to indulge your curiosity, intellect, and the ability to express yourself during this very brief transit. With the square of Venus in Libra and Pluto in Capricorn, your personal relationships may face 
issues involving jealousy, guilt trips, or possessiveness. These negative behaviors may likely center around feelings of insecurity. Venus is a fast-moving planet, so these feelings will be short-lived. With the equinox sun in Libra, trine Pluto and Capricorn, you may gain greater insights and a better understanding of topics you're studying at this time, perhaps even tackling ones that have seemed too difficult previously. It's a good time to make positive transformations in your life, including clearing out the unwanted clutter. The Yod, or Finger of God, between Neptune, Uranus, and Venus represents a time of crisis or destiny. Once again, there is a focus on Neptune and Uranus. Neptune in Pisces brings a deep connection to spirituality, imagination, and mysticism. Uranus in the Earth sign of Taurus brings a unique combination of rebelliousness and stability to your life and pushes for revolutionary changes in the material world. The resolution to these challenges is found through Venus in Libra, who looks to find a diplomatic and fair-minded approach to the different perspectives of the two planets. Thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and click the notify bell icon so you'll know when new videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the thumbs up icon.